Hi, I'm systems engineer Jason Green, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the Pharonix Utility Data Igloo to redirect your user data to a drive um, that's not frozen by deep freeze. Now in most cases uh, we will either have a secondary partition already created, perhaps a network location. Uh, in this case, on the workstation in question, uh, we've installed deep freeze with a thaw space that's been created specifically for the purposes of redirecting user profiles and user data to it. Um, in the deep freeze application download, there's a folder uh, called redirecting user data, and within that folder is a link to the data igloo utility. If we open up the Data Igloo utility, we'll see it's a pretty clean interface, very straightforward and very intuitive. Uh, we have a list of users that are currently created on the workstation, including the one that's logged uh, on. We can't do anything with the existing logged on user. Um, and the other thing we have is uh, the deep freeze status is indicated uh, at the top. So deep freeze must be thawed, of course, uh, in order to uh, make any of these changes. So we see deep freeze uh, status is thawed and so we can go ahead and make the changes. In this case I have a user called Pharonix and if I highlight that user we'll see on the right side I'm provided um, the option to define exactly where I want this profile location to be stored. So uh, currently it's in the default location which is in the C users folder. Uh, and then the Pharonix user folder has been created. But what I want to do is I want to redirect this user to a different location, a custom location. Click on the custom location, uh, select the redirect user profile uh, option, and we'll see I'm provided an option to specify the target or where I want to redirect this user data to. I click the browse button and I will click uh, and select the thaw space that I created and the Pharonix folder. Um, which I've already created for the purposes of this user. So we can see the thaw space that I created with Deep Freeze, the Pharonix uh, folder that I created specifically for the redirection of uh, the Pharonix user within um, or on this workstation, and I'll now click on OK. Uh, we'll copy over all of my permissions as well and click the Redirect User Profile button. We'll see that uh, Data Igloo now uh, scans for all the files and folders and um, moves them and redirects them over to the uh, thaw space uh, location, which has been assigned drive letter E. And uh, you know it'll take some time to move the data over, uh, but the user uh, data, uh, profile information, uh, my documents, favorites, uh, all of the um, subcontents of the user data will be redirected to that uh, thaw space uh, drive letter E. And what this will allow is for the user to uh, store data in my documents, retain their favorites, change their desktop background, for example, create icons on their desktop, customize their work environment while still having deep freeze provide the protection to the um, operating system, the registry, and whatnot. Now, <clears throat> The other option you'll see here, once we complete the movement of the files over and we're now uh, completed, we can see that the Pharonix user data is in E um, slash Pharonix, Pharonix. Uh, down at the bottom here, we'll see I also have uh, an option to redirect any newly created user profiles as well. So in a case where you have an environment where multiple users log on to the same workstation um, with different user um, names, we have the ability to redirect all of the different elements, uh, including registry keys and user profiles, uh, as well over to that thaw space. So we browse, select the area that we want to redirect new users over to, the thaw space, and the same with the user data. And this will redirect the registry keys that are critical to understanding where the user profile information is being created the first time, as well as the uh, data that we discussed the my documents, the favorites, and all of the user profile uh, information. Click on OK. And now we can be sure that any new, uh, time a new user logs into the system and a profile has been uh, has been created, um, it's redirected to the appropriate thaw space and uh, as a result that data will be retained uh, even after a deep freeze, a frozen deep freeze workstation has been restarted. And that's how you redirect user profile information using the Data Igloo utility.